Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter, Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today, Sunday, to do an angel message reading on the 7-7 portal. And we are just out of that new moon energy in Cancer. I hope you all have had a lovely 4th of July celebration and you may still be today. It's a hot scorcher day here, um, high humidity into the 90s. Um, canceled a lot of fireworks because of thunderstorms so at any rate i ha hope you have had a wonderful time celebrating the birthday of our country all right starting the energy today and oh just one last thing i just want to say i'm grateful for each and every one of you that have subscribed to the channel for your watches your views your likes your comments your shares I am so, so, so very, very grateful and appreciate you, each and every one of you, so very, very much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, let's get started with this reading. There's a lot of magical energy around right now. Um, of course, the Cancer New Moon was compassionate, understanding energy, loving energy. And um, the energy around now has just been hugely transformative. Um, and you may have known, like, felt like a heavy energy around. And as much as you can, stay grounded. And really pay attention to what you're listening to on social media. You know, there's a lot of people spinning information and drumming up fear. So be careful of what you put into you right now, okay? And try your best to rise above negative energies. in your life. So what do the angels want us to know, Spirit, today on the day of the 7-7 portal? bottom of the deck is lake and depth and uh, this is a four energy so someone going deep on their energy going right down in there right into the bottom of an ocean really cleansing out their energies and that's a four We have water and creation, and this is a two energy. So somebody, um, this is like a queen of cups energy, right? Somebody that's using the element of water, uh, love, emotions, um, to manifest what they want in their life. And it's a, a beautiful energy here that we see. Um, this could be like a queen of cups that's in a high priestess type energy. You can just see all that manifesting energy swirling around. So manifesting some dreams here, I suspect. And that is a excuse me, that's a three energy. We have change with wind, and this is a six energy. Can you see that? wind coming in right and how it's uh collected all that crap in this woman's hair right stuff maybe the changes that you're releasing uh, a bunch of emotional energy that you've been carry along carrying along um, on your journey in your life and that is a six we have volcanoes and power and this is a nine so somebody stepping into their powerful energy Right? Manifesting their dreams, realizing their power, taking hold of it, harnessing it, using it in a magical way. Look at that energy created here. And I can feel, I can feel like the heat being generated in the card. A real passion coming in here. We have plants and growth 
and this is a tin energy. So here we have an elk that has some foliage growing on his antlers, and that's not something we're likely to see. Maybe out in the woods, the deep woods, you might see something like this, but in every day we wouldn't see it. And so the message here is that even though you may not be seeing this growth in something, in a person, in something you're working on, in a career path, or something like that in a relationship, it's there, it's growing, it's large, and it's alive. If you're not seeing it yet, you're going to start seeing it soon. We have gravity and groundedness, and this is a 9 and 13 is 12, so that's a 3, so this is a 3 staying grounded right um, when there's so many things that want to take you up like and make you worry and fear things someone is working hard here and spirit guides and angels are helping you to keep your feet on the earth and stay grounded in situations around you and i talked about that at the beginning of the reading right like it's going to be real important in some of this energy coming between now and the 8-8 portal that you stay grounded, okay? Because very transformative energy will be coming in with that 8-8 portal, okay? So right now we're at 777 in spirit saying, let's stay grounded. And we know what a highly, highly, highly spiritual number seven is, okay? And that's another three. So we're doing this manifesting, but we've got to stay grounded when we're doing it. And next is hearth and comfort, and this is an 11, and this is about comfort zones in our life, right? Here somebody is feeling all so cozy, baby cuddly, puppy cuddly, warm, they're by a fire. Everybody is blissful and just happy, and you may feel that way in your home. And maybe it's time you step out into the world, get out of your comfort zone a little, and try some new things. Okay, you never know what can happen. And that's our first um, master number to come in today, 11. All right, next we are going to take Wisdom of the Oracle. And see what wants to come out here and join our little party here. So, angels, what do we need to know today? What energies are around us? What information needs to come forward? Anything else? Okay. Bottom of our deck is co-create, and this is a four energy. So spirit is saying, hey, we see you. We hear you. We know what you're trying to do. We believe in you. We'll support you. We'll protect you. We'll guide you. Let's do this work together. Don't be afraid to step into um, spirituality in your life. Follow a spiritual path. They want to work with you. They really do. And that is a four. So somebody may be going deep into their emotions, thinking about that, that spiritual energy and how they want to step into it. I don't know. Let's put those away. Okay, let's see what we have here coming out for us. 
we have the fates and this is an eight energy right and um fate this can be something that's been destined to you something that's meant to happen for you something that you just can't avoid that it's going to come in but we don't want to rely on fate all the time right we don't want to leave um, our life up to chance we want to take control of our our fate and our destiny and get on that path and follow it and take the risks and take the chances knowing that something faded will come in to to guide us and protect us on our path and there's really magical energy around right now and don't we just see it in the card here and i talked about that at the very beginning of the reading with this seven seven portal and the energy of the cancer new moon how transformative it is and how magical it can really be and manifesting right especially if you have released past energies that could have been weighing you down or holding you back okay it's time to really step into this energy and that is an eight we have round and round and this is a seven energy and this you know you may feel like sometimes you're just going round and round in a situation you're not getting anywhere you're not having a breakthrough you're not getting clarity that's one energy to this but the most important energy here is that yes you're going in a circle but each time you do you are elevating your energy you're learning you're releasing you're growing learning releasing growing right that's the cycle you're in and you're elevating your energy your vibration is rising you're seeing things more clearly and that is a seven hmm. so we're building a story here pretty quick and then we have all that glitters and this has been a loud energy this is a seven and um a lot of readings recently um, so this is you know a complicated dual side energy like most cards have right the light side and the dark side so on the light side um you're glowing right now right you might have a magical energy to you um, people may be seeing this energy out in the world. You may be projecting this energy. It's what you're putting out there. And it's a spiritually guided energy. On the other side, this can be somebody that's wearing a mask that sees you, sees your light, sees your beauty, and is only looking at you superficially. They're not seeing down to the deep emotions, to the soul, to the beautiful soul that's inside of you. It could be someone that you know projected themselves in a mask and maybe you fell for it in the past and you're not going to fall for it again it can be people that are around you that are jealous and are just looking at your beauty and um or your energy and who you are as a person and are jealous of that and again not looking through to see the real beauty the authenticness of you so beware that somebody in your life could be wearing a mask, okay? And not, you may be looking at a situation and have thought that everything was going to be just, you know, maybe with rose-colored glasses and all that glitters isn't gold. We all have a dull and a shiny side. Um, and that's how we, we stay balanced. Okay, so be aware of people wearing masks, not being their authentic self. And we really want to be our authentic self. Um, you know, I, I talk about how we're all a special puzzle piece. We're all different, yet we are all part of the bigger story in the world. And we all play a particular role and fill a particular need in the world. And when we're not our authentic self, we... Put like a tear or a scar in the puzzle of the world there's an open area where something else needs to be right and that lets the light out and keeps it dark and right now we need to get more light on the world more happiness more joy and let go of these heavy heavy 
worries and fears that are created in people, especially in this time of social media, right? Some people um, do nothing more than sell fear and make people worry. So be careful where you get your um, news and information from. We have the energy of peace here, and this is a five, right? You know, being an agent of peace, carrying yourself, putting yourself out there in a peaceful, calm way. And I, I personally find it very um, strong and powerful when I stay peaceful in a state of um, chaos, um, when when people are angry or struggling or whatever it is, I like to be the calm force and just not entertain those kinds of energies. And I wish more people did. And that is our first five out. We have building and blocks, and this is a 10 energy. And here we have someone you know, building a wall, right? And she's like, oh, I can finally see this wall happening. I'm doing the work and it's finally happening. It's finally, it's visible. People can see it. And there's a level of excitement here for somebody. <clears throat> we have messages in a bottle. And this is a six energy. And this is messages coming in from spirit. And they only have so many ways they can communicate with you. So this could be spiritual downloads. This can be messages and songs, messages you pick up and overhearing other conversations, messages that come in from other people that come in through your dreams. Okay. If you um, meditate or pray, you may get messages that way. Messages when you're out and about in the universe magical little things that can happen to you coming in from spirit and this is a six and there's a change in the wind and maybe that change is going to come in through a spiritual download that you get in some way we have treasure island and this is a nine and this is you know it's the cutest picture right a sea turtle carrying a treasure chest on his back and love and Gold coins and hearts are just flying out of this. Abundance, right? Abundance of love, generosity. And this is like spirit bringing in some type of energy for you that is going to be abundant. It's like a uh, ten of cups kind of energy I'm feeling. This is a nine. And as you step into this power, this magical abundant energy is going to surround you is the message i'm getting here so do step into your power and watch the abundance pour in and we have a three with TikTok. times a wasting how are you using your time are you using it for the good for your good right are you being diligent and purposeful are you taking the time you need to rest and, or bam, divine timing is here. Get ready. Hold on to your hat. Magic is going to happen. And that is a three. And this comes in under that manifesting energy, right? We are manifesting. We are putting our heart, mind, and soul into this manifestation. We are closing our eyes and we are envisioning what we want to come into us. We see it, we feel it, we can taste it. It gives us shivers, right? When we think about what we want in life. And next we have milk and honey. And this is a, uh, this is a six energy. So this is like success, victory, six of wands energy, the rainbow, right? The pot of gold, the honey and milk the richness in life, the happiness, the joy, an elephant bathing in milk, right? Really luxurious. Some kind of victory coming in here for somebody. And in this change, this message that's going to come through, you're going to feel 
happy and excited when it comes into you. Wow, what a lovely, lovely reading. Okay, let's take the sacred she and see what energies want to come in. Angels, what messages do we need today on this 7-7 seven, seven portal day? bottom of the deck is self-expression and this is an 11 energy look at that creativity how huh? that passion that fiery energy this person is in it's just exuding from them a magnetic fiery powerful energy and that's an 11 and then we have our dream weaver here Yep, this is a five energy. This um, this man with the frog in his cup, right? He wants some love in his life, and he so freely gives it, right? And you see all the animals around him, that spiritual energy within him, and he's nurturing a child there, still able to give love even though he hasn't maybe gotten it in return. Beautiful energy, and that is a five. And I'm just drawn to this energy on the bottom of the deck here. Joy. I think it's meant to come out here. Joy. And this is a 10, 11, 10. So it's a 9, 19. So this is a 10. It's so like a 10 of cups, right? Happiness, joy. We have the sun there, illumination, clarity victory, success, it's going to happen. And then generosity, right? Being in reciprocal energies, creating a rainbow as you work with spirit, right? And things get more reciprocal, fair, and balanced in your life. And that's a six. And maybe that's where this change is going to come in. All right, so let's see what else came out here. What kind of elements are showing up? We've got spiritual, we've got air, we've got earth, and we've got some water. The only fire energy we had was um, the only fire energy was this self-expression, this passion, creativity. So it's cancer season still. So here we have what would be like the six of cups. And this is passion, right? Passion. This can be passion between two people. And this can be how it's being expressed in a very um, passionate two of cups kind of energy. A real exchange of emotions here between two people. We have our earth energy, 
And we have timing. This is like a seven of pentacles, some divine timing coming in and with TikTok here. Divine timing coming. And that's a seven. And we have 11 with honesty. Um, you stand in the light of honesty. You're being honest with yourself about how you feel and what you want in your life. You're not letting anyone else's pin opinions or thoughts interfere with what you see for yourself and what you want for yourself. And you're being honest and transmitting your feelings and how you're thinking. So 11, 11, 11, really fast here in today's reading, as is 777 seven, seven for the seven portal. We already have those three sevens out here right away, building as in with the 11s. 666. Six, six. Now our air energy. So we're compared to our passion and our emotion. We're thinking. We're doing a lot of thinking right now. And first we have what would be the four of swords. And this is resting, recuperating, right? Really healing, letting these energies go. And that can be very um, exhausting. You may be going through a lot in your sleep. You may be finding it difficult to sleep and get real rest. And Spirit's saying it's okay to take some time to enjoy life, to get sick back and just nurture yourself. And this is a four. We have three. Somebody in heartbreak. Someone's heart is broken. And that's really sad. I feel bad having been through a bad heartbreak in my life. I understand how painful that is. Right? And somebody could still be dealing this, still healing a little here. And that is a three. We have our first one. And this is clarity. This is like an ace of swords, right? Some truth, some clarity, some honesty right taking off the colored glasses clearing the film on the mirror looking at things clearly rising above it getting a higher perspective maybe some truth and honesty coming into you and then nine of swords somebody in real fear and worry and this fear is debilitating for them it crops up all sorts of worries and concerns. It's really a debilitating kind of energy here. And that is a nine. And that comes in um, under this um, treasure island energy and stepping into power, right? And leaving those fears and worries and concerns behind. And then we have our spiritual energies that came out. We have a four energy with transitioning. And this is like death and rebirth. Somebody going through a death and rebirth, you know, letting the past go, letting it die in them and just coming out fresh and new. We have the energy of repression. And this is a nine, somebody repressing energies. So we have fear. Maybe somebody is repressing their fear. They're not, they don't want to look at their fear. They're pushing things down. They're pushing it way down and not letting it coming up, let, not letting it come up and processing it, looking at it matter of factly. So a lot of repression. And our last is, is a three energy, and this is wisdom. And this is the eye of a whale, right? We all know how wise whales are. And angels are helping you with wisdom in your life, learning how to rise above energies, being the bigger person, seeing more clearly, using your third eyes learning from our mistakes, our chances, our risks, using that wisdom. OK, 
Okay, now we've got um, energies of the seven oracles. No, oracle of the seven energies. I said that backwards. Sorry. Oh. All right, angels. What do you want us to know today? What energies need to come out on the 7 7 portal? Spirit. Okay. Bottom of our deck is the land between time. And this is an energy of not, you're not at the beginning and you're not at the end. You're at the divine middle point where all the magic happens. You see the light there that is bridging the two sides together, the what was and the what will be, right? You're, you're, you're connecting the lands together. And you're right there at that sweet spot where all the magic happens, where it, all the growth happens, where all the change comes in. It's beautiful energy right here in this middle. And it's learning to see the beauty in the middle. Okay. And that is a four. We have another ace with this earth magic energy. Um, being strongly connected to um, nature energies, um, the spirit of the world connecting into Gaia, Mother Nature, those deep, deep energies and a message to stay grounded. And I talked about that at the beginning of the reading too, right? We had groundedness come out here and it's going to be important between now and that 8-8 eight, eight portal to get grounded. So get outside. It's some summer everywhere here in the United States. So get out, get your feet on the grass, get your feet in the ocean or in a pool, right? And feel that, that connection. I was walking um, in the forest um, yesterday and I just heard this message from a tree that was on a riverbank and it said, come here, come here. And I I put my hand on the on the tree and just this beautiful light and this message of trust that came in for me. Um, and then yesterday um, on another walk in the evening, I was walking with a friend and as we were walking, we had these um, birds, they were swallows just following us and circling us around. And we were just doing a short walk around a neighborhood and um, it was like they were bringing us to this one point in the walk. And when we walked through it, there was like um, a nest of dragonflies that were just between this area. And we had to walk through it. And as we did, they were just swirling around us and bumping into us. And it was so magical. So get out in nature. See what kind of ma messages you get. What happens to you? Bring all your senses out with you. What does it smell like? We were walking after the rain and you could smell the, the, the dampness, the richness of the earth in the forest as we were walking. Like the sights and the sounds. It was so still, you know, as we walked and then like a mosquito buzzing in your ear as you were walking by and shooing it away. 
the bubbling creek and the water tried to skip rocks and that sound it makes. It was a beautiful experience and a real connection into nature. So I talk about these things only because I want to inspire you and encourage you to get out and, and connect in to our earth. We are made from the earth. We are about the earth. We belong to the earth. Let yourself return to it. We have a three energy. No, a four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. A three energy. Yes, I said it right. And this is Wish Upon a Star. This is such a sweet, sweet card, right? But this is a way you manifest. And think about this. Anytime you've thrown a corn in a fountain or down a well or in a pond or made a wish up to a star, right? You get in this energy. And here, this little girl, she's just holding her heart. And in her head, she's oh, connecting into her angels and spirit guides. And she's making this most wonderful wish. She sets the intention, she releases it like we all do, right? And then we just hope and pray that someday what we wish for comes to us. And for someone here, there's some divine timing coming in. You're doing it right. You're putting all your passion, all your energy, all your focus into this thing. Whatever it is for you, love, a career, a path, a person, a place, a thing, whatever it is. You're putting your all into it, and the universe is responding. We have a powerful move, and this is angels calling your attention to right now in this energy and before these two portals, the 7-7 seven, seven and the 8-8. Eight, eight. It is time for you to make a powerful move in your life. This is like a magic eight ball, right? It's going to swap the energy around. It's going to make something big happen. Some big move come in for you. It's going to take one big move on your part, one big change. And your angels, your guides, your spirits, your ancestors, they're all here working you. They're guiding you. They're priming you up. They're building you up for this one big move, this one big chance, this one big opportunity, this one moment of clarity, one moment of wonder that might come in and prompt you to take some kind of action that's going to change your life. That's how powerful this energy is that's around you this power right now. Don't let it pass you by. Seize the opportunity in it. And that is a six. We have feeling the world. And this is a four energy. And you may be an empath. And this is um, somebody who feel things really deep, right? You feel things deeply right into the core, the existence of who you are. And this is our angels and ancestors saying, oh, we love how deep your heart is. We love that you feel like you do. And it's such a magical power to feel and to feel deeply. It's a magical gift. Not everyone has it. It's a brave gift, right? Because some people aren't brave enough to go that deep. So it's a gift. But just like anything, you have to protect yourself. You have to release energies. And if you get too depleted, you're no good for the world. The world needs you rested and strong. And, you know, I had to take a couple of days off from readings, too. I needed to spend some time, pull my energy back, be with my friends and family, and enjoy this holiday weekend just like all of you did. Oh, but then this morning came, and I'm like, Oh, I got to get back to my readings. This is where my real joy is, right? But we need that time to heal, to release, right? Because we can't take on the burdens of the world. We can have empathy. We can relate to it. We 
can send our positive vibes to it, but we can't let it lower our energies, our vibration, right? We can't stay in that energy. We can sympathize with it, but we need to leave it and elevate over it. And Spirit saying, I'm sensing this in you now, in this collective. We need this message that it's important that you release the day, that you let go of energies. You know, at night, have a regular practice of just releasing the day and be ready for the next new fresh day. And it takes, um, it, it, this is a habit you need to get into. And you'll see the difference in your life and how you're feeling. You won't feel as, uh, that dread, <laughs> that real drag on life. And what did we say this was? Hmm. A four. Boy, this four energy is big today too. We have a grand symphony and this is a nine. And I have never seen this card before. So let's get the book and see what kind of special message needs to come out here. Put my reading glasses on. This is a nine energy. It's a 27. Inclusive, inclus inclusivity, being part of the whole, removing bias, seeing the interconnectedness of all, knowing that everything you do has a consequence. Unity consciousness, the end of division. As human beings, we have a tendency to see ourselves as separate from others. This perception is the root of the cosmic joke played on all of us. Although our five senses and intent, intellect can help us manage our experiences in the material world, and intuition helps us navigate the invisible, we still struggle with the issue of identity and how we fit in the whole. You're facing a paradox today. You need to focus on being your unique self, for only you can bring your own special harmony to the symphony of the world. But equally, you need to learn to be selfless and put we before me, seeing yourself as part of the consciousness that unifies us all. You're being invited to step back and see the bigger picture until your individual part on the world stage disappears and blends with the glory of life. It's true that who you are and what you do counts in far-featuring ways. Consider this, though. When you listen to music, it's the whole, not any single note on its own that makes the song come alive. Wow. Wow, we, what a powerful message. And it ties back to what I said in the beginning of the reading, right? That we're all, if we look at the whole, the world as a puzzle, right? And that each one of the people on it is that unique puzzle piece. When we don't be our unique self, we don't fit into that connectedness of the universe, of being all connected. And when we do, when we're authentic and we fit in, that's being in the flow, that's being in the connectedness, that's being in a, a field of dragonflies and being part of the energy because you're connected to them. They feel your presence. They know that you're safe. They know that you are one with them. And it's the coolest feeling, everyone. It's so cool. And that's what Spirit's saying to you today. Stop seeing yourself alone and seeing yourself as part of the bigger picture in your life. And right with any song, it's not one note. It's not just the voice of the singer, but it's the sound of the drums, of the trumpets, of the flute, of the saxophone, of the guitars right, of the piano. It's all those different songs, all those different sounds that come together, right? It's not just one thing ever. It's not just one of us ever. It's all of us. It's we. And you know, and 
we have this time, we're in this energy of Aquarius right now, right? The age of Aquarius. And that's about we the people, not I the person. It's we the people. So realize that about yourself. Your authentic energy is, is required here. And that's a nine. And you know, that's what the volcano energy is. It's your authentic self is very powerful because there's, there's not another you. There's not another puzzle piece with your energy on it. We need you. And we have the storyteller, and this is an eight, right? And if you don't like the stories that are, you, are being told about you, tell a different story about yourself. Instead of telling about your past, your weakness, your failures, talk about your successes and your opportunities. Talk about the love in your life and how you see things. If you don't like how it's going, change the story you tell yourself. Start there. Because the book is yours. It's the book of you. You can turn the page at any time and start a new story. And that is an eight. And when you do that, you're changing a, a faded life to a destined life. You're deciding how your life is going to be. You're not waiting for fate to tell you how it's going to be. And then fate meets you where you're at. And it's a different kind of fate that comes in. We have body and soul. And this is about being connected. Mind, body, and soul. Having that inter interconnectedness. Having unison in how you're feeling. Having your thoughts and your feelings completely in harmony. And that energy you emanate, that light you put out into the world is magical. How you feel things, you're, you just get so wired in magical feeling. And that is a five. And someone's in this energy, in this dream weaver energy, manifesting dreams, bringing peace into their life, and maybe into the lives of others through this spiritual energy that's blossoming within someone. We have the energy of let it go. And this is about having a willingly, willingly, a willful release of energies in your life. Intellectually, even if you can't do this in a feeling way, but intellectually you can say to yourself, feeling this way is not for my optimal good. It's not making me it's not good for my health, my well-being. It's not good for the people around me. It's not good for my energy and my longevity on this planet. I'm going to willfully, I'm going to honestly say, this energy is not for me anymore. It's not part of who I am or who I want to be in this world. It's not what I want to put out in this world. It's not the light that I'm shining and I'm releasing these energies. I am fully, honestly, intentionally releasing anything that doesn't serve me and that is a six and maybe that's the powerful move you're going to make maybe the powerful move is releasing and you don't even realize and i've talked about this how much lighter and freer you feel when you finally let go of pain and fear and regret and hurt humiliation, whatever it might be for you, when you fully and utterly release the past, right? When you can look at the past and you only feel the good memories, the things that warmed your heart, right? When you don't think about the past and it immediately oh, lowers your energy, right? And next and last is exposed and revealed and this is a three energy and this is um, an energy where um, spirit may be and your angels may be taking you through healing 
What message am I getting here? Hang on. Your spiritual team, your angels and ancestors, are guiding you through healing generations of fear, pain, and anxiety that you've been carrying with you. They're taking you through these storms, these cleansing opportunities that they bring in, whether triggered by someone else, a song, something happening in your life. They're exposing these things for you. They're revealing them so that you can willfully release them. And as you're going through this release, this healing, this rebirth, this heartbreaking energy, right? You're exposed. Your rawness, your richness is exposed. Your authenticity is exposed. Three. Yeah, as we're doing this, we've had no um, two energy come out. That's interesting. It's always interesting to me when an energy um, is missing. So how are we doing on time? We have time for one more. And I think we're going to do spirit animals. It's time for a quick, short message. And since I've had this experience this weekend with all sorts of earth energies, I'm feeling this energy large today. Very large. angels what animals what energies need to come forward for us today on the 77 portal Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. And that is true. Love is all around you. Let it come in. And here we have a, I don't know what kind of bird this is. Maybe a chickadee of some kind. But they're shouting out beautiful music, right? They're tweeting it into the air through a trumpet flower here. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're sharing a message of love and light and healing. But love is all around. Lead your life with love. Come from a pace of love in all situations. And watch your life transform. And I don't know how to make it any easier or any simpler. And it's just something you have to try. And that requires an open, healed heart. And underneath that, I'm drawn to this be peace. And this is Dove Spirit. Be the peace in all situations in your life. Be that angelic energy. And that is a three. Okay. 
So let's see who else came out here, these divine beings. Quite a few wanted to make their way in. Okay. We have Sandpiper Spirit with Be Playful. And this is a six energy, right? Be lighthearted, be funny, be silly, be playful, right? Be a kid again. Let that inner child come out and see the day of light. See the light of day. Talking backwards. <laughs> okay. Six energy. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. And this is a 10, right? Be generous with your energy, with your love, with your light. Give freely, honestly, and openly. Look at that lion, huh? The pride, the courage, the determination, the wisdom. Ten. We have Bobcat Spirit with an eight, and life is a mystery. And <laughs> it is. It's the greatest mystery of your life, right? You never know what's going to happen. Believe in magic. Believe in miracles. Believe in things just appearing out of thin air. It's all around. You just have to want to see it. You have to want to believe it. And it will be there for you. And that's an eight. We have Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. And this is a one, right? And here you see two ants, right? And I talked about the puzzle pieces with the world. It has another message to that, to this puzzle piece. Like these ants are working together. They're like, we can work together on this. We can bring this together. We can build this puzzle. Maybe you're working on a problem or a situation. Maybe you're blessed to have another ant in your life that says, hey, I see the work you're doing. I see it. Let me help you. Let me, let me work with you. I'm liking this. And if we pull our resources together, imagine what we can grow, what can happen, right? And um, we have this growth energy here. And maybe that's coming through collaboration for you. Okay. Turtle spirit with slow and steady wins the race. And this is an eight. And that's the truth of situations. We think we have to rush around and be busy and whatever every minute of our life. But the truth of the matter is, is that everything happens in its divine time. And when you flow with the energies of steady rushing or working against them, life is easier, life flows better and more abundantly. And that's an eight. We have Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. And this is a four. So whatever you're worried about, whatever you're fearful of, whatever energies you might be repressing, okay, don't worry about it. The universe will help you. Ask for what you need. Keep making efforts and striding towards it. And the universe does provide. It will support you in your causes, in your efforts. This is a 10. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. And this is a, nine and five is 14, this is a five, right? Five is about change. And it's opening up to the possibilities in life. Having, being open to what the universe wants to bring in. 
right? Being open, open to receive. Five energy. And then we have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. And this is a two, right? And this is about more than one thing can be true at the same time. Your truth, someone else's truth, the truth in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's the reality that depending on who you are, how you see a situation, that's your truth and let somebody else have their truth. That's okay, right? You got to let people think and feel the way they want to think and feel. But look at that happy dolphin. Look at all that magical energy around him. When you realize that there's more than just your truth, it's easier to understand situations, I think. And it's more of a, it's a higher energy vibe to look at things that way. Elevate your energy. And it's our first two today. We have Hawk Spirit, let spirit be your guide. And this is a five, and that's true. Throw your worries, fears, and concerns up to spirit and saying, show me the way out of this. Show me the path. Show me the light. What's next? What next step do I take? Make it clear for me, spirit, please, right? Please help me see what I do next. And that is a five. Cow spirit with <laughs> the miracles are endless. And this is a six energy. Look at that cow. Come on, people. How cute. How cute is that? All the sunflowers, right? Believe in miracles. Miracles are all around us. And sometimes it seems like right when we give up hope, when we're at the our lowest of low. That's when a miracle comes in, huh? Like out of the blue. And this is a six. And coyote spirit. Trust in divine detours. And this is a seven. So there may be a detour of some kind coming into your life. Some kind of an opportunity that brings you clarity. And trust that detour in your life. Maybe it's going to be an escape hatch of some kind. You never know. Trust in divine detours, and that is a seven. So we do have the change energy here, changes in the wind. We have eagle spirit with spirit has your back, and this is a five. So we had that co-create energy come out at the beginning, the very first card out in the reading. This started our reading, and here towards the end is this, yeah, spirit has your back. I told you, I want to co-create with you. Get a move on. We've got work to do. And that is a five. And armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries for yourself, right? Set good health goals around eating and drinking and exercise, cleansing our energies, what will uh, allow and won't allow in our life, holding ourselves accountable to our behaviors around health. And that is a three. Okay, we're at the point of the reading here. I'm going to review the energies and then we'll bring in an oracle card to kind of sum this out. We have a nice message here of um, a couple of things have come in clearly. First of all, a large message of 777 here. Um, a large message of 
666-555-333 are our big numbers today. 10 is pretty big as well. The only master number we had come out was 11, and we have 11, 11, 11 here. And so we have somebody who's on a spiritual path here for sure. And they may be facing some opposition or somehow and spirit saying, step into that power. Don't let anybody deter you away from what you know you want to do. And that's that stepping into this power. Maybe there's some fear around stepping into that power or somebody repressing that fear. <laughs> Maybe they're pushing the fear down and um, not letting it come up and addressing it, what that fear is. But on this spiritual path, there's building. Something is building and growing. It's making you very happy. Okay. So in our first position, we have what would be two aces in here. We have an ace of swords, which is um, our thinking, right? It's clarity, um, enlightenment, the truth and honesty coming into you. Maybe you're going to have an epiphany of some kind in an aha moment. And then this earth magic, a pentacle kind of energy, connecting in with earth energies, being grounded, some opportunity of some kind that could lead to um, pentacles, opportunities in life. The lone 10 energy, and this that is around this and that are true. Let everybody have their own truth on how they're seeing situations. No, the real truth is somewhere in the middle, but that you're on the side of the light and the truth. You see the light in that truth. We have in three energy, water and creation, manifesting your dreams, putting your heart and soul and all your emotions into this manifestation. Staying grounded, and that's important, from the 7-7 portal to the 8-8 portal at Lionsgate. Tick-tock, some divine timing is here. Take advantage of it, okay? Somebody is going through a heartache right now. They've had some pain and loss in their life, and they're trying to heal. There's some divine wisdom here that's developing in you, in the collective. Use that wisdom and apply it to your current situation. Wish upon a star. This is that manifesting energy, right? Putting everything into it, connecting into divine, making a wish. Exposed and revealed. You know, things are being exposed and revealed to you. Spirits helping you heal and move past energies. And it might be causing some emotional upheaval for you, affecting your sleep, maybe eating, maybe real emotional energies going on in you. We have Dove Spirit and Be Peace, and this is a three energy, right? Be the peace in all situations in your life. Bring yourself to a state of peace. Armado sp Armadillo Spirit and set healthy boundaries, right? Establish healthy boundaries around yourself, around eating, drinking, exercising, releasing energies, being the bigger person, how you see things, not letting people take advantage of you, marginalize you, anything like that, having good boundaries around what you will and will not do or stand for. This is a four energy. And this is co-create with spirit. And there's a big energy around that and a willingness for your angels, ancestors, and spirits to work with you on something. Like someone going deep on how they're feeling, really tuning in on a deep level. Spirit saying, would you please rest and relax a little, right? Give yourself some time to rest. This is hard work going through all these emotions. It's very taxing, especially if you're going through any ascension or anything. It can be really fatiguing. Excuse me. <clears throat> ha. 
Ugh. Excuse me, everyone. We have death and rebirth here, transitioning, you know, really letting a, a situation rest and starting new, fresh. The land between what was and what will be, and you're in this divine sweet spot here where the light is. This is where all the magic happens. This is where the transformation happens. And you, through your work, through your healing, is going to bridge this time together in your life. And healing the world, right? Be careful of this energy when you're a healer or you're empathetic in nature. It's easy to take on the pain and the feeling of other people. And Spirit's saying it's okay to sympathize, to relate to how they're feeling, but you've got to release those energies so that you can move forward, so that you can grow and stay strong, so you can help other people. All right? We can't stay down in those lower vibing energies in our life. Five energy with peace again, right? Be the peace in all situations in your life. Let yourself be in a state of peace. The dream weaver, right? Being the compassionate person, despite the ah, poor luck in love, maybe, huh? That you're a divine spiritual being. Um, we have body and soul, and this is being unified and having an interconnectedness between what you think, how you feel, and what your soul carries and wants. Okay, so you're all unified. You're one within one vessel. And it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Nightingale spirit with love is all around you. And in all instances, lead from a place of love in your life. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. Being open to whatever the universe has to bring to you. Whatever it is, Spirit, bring it in. I'm strong and wise enough to handle it. Hawk Spirit with let Spirit be your guide. Let them guide you, nurture you, and protect you on your path, okay? They're right there. Just reach out to them. We have a change is in the wind. And this is seven energy excuse me, six energy. So a change is coming in. And you could be going through a slow, steady change, or this could be some fast change coming in. And spirit may be sending you a message about it. And it may make you very happy, some magical energy here. That could be reciprocal energy, give and take, really magical energies. This could be around a passionate connection in your life. And you are letting go everything and anything from the past that has hurt you, that has caused you pain or loss in your life. You're just letting it all go. You're willingly releasing it all. Spirit saying, now is the time to make a powerful move in your life. Between this 7-7 portal and the 8-8 portal, now the energy is ripe for transformation. Make a powerful move in your life. Sandpiper spirit and be playful. Have a light, funny, happy, <sighs> playful energy about you, okay? Be that kind of light in the world. Have fun. And cow spirit, the miracles are endless, right? got to get out there you got to be part of the world and you'll see all these miracles around you eagle spirit spirit has your back and that's that co-create energy right spirits right here they want to work with you they're protecting you they're saying hey buddy don't worry we're here our seven energy seven seven settle this portal round and round right this is you going in a circle but you're elevating your energies you're rising you're ascending in your energy and who you are you're putting all the pieces together as you move about this tunnel this experience all that glitters you are shining bright right and people see that you have all this masked energy around you people that are coming towards you 
Be careful of the masks they could be wearing. Don't fall for it. And if people are looking in, at you in that superficial way, be authentic and let that inner beauty come out so they see more than just the outer beauty. Let them see the beauty in the inside. Make people be authentic with you or don't have them around you. And this can be a jealous or envious energy around you as well. But the biggest message I'm getting is someone lacking authenticity is wearing a mask around you. And be wary of that. And this is a seven in divine timing. And some divine timing is coming in here, a change, an opportunity of some kind. And, you know, the divine timing could be the, you know, the tick-tock, that divine period between 7-7 seven, seven and 8-8. Eight, eight. And coyote spirit, trust in the divine detours. So there might be a change in something here. It might be a detour of some kind. We have the fates. And this is eight energy. So this is about something fated for you, something that's about to happen to you on your path. You're fated to be at this place at this time so you can experience something. And if you don't like anything about your fated life, you have the opportunity to change your story, to turn the page on it, and to start a new journal entry, a new, a new life. Start sending a different message out into the world about who you are. Life is a mystery. Like you never know what can unfold and what can come out, what opportunities might arise for you. And turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Take your time. When we go slow and steady, we, we miss the pitfalls, the accidents, the errors that can happen in life. And that's eight energy. Nine energy, stepping into power. And we read this um, message about Stop seeing things. Start seeing yourself as one um, in a whole, not just an I, but a we. See the interconnectedness between you and the rest of the world, the people in it, the animals, the planet. And if you watch the reading, you know, maybe you're seeing this in a short, but if you watch the whole reading, you'll get that message, what I talked about, the spiritual energy that I experienced this weekend connecting with nature on walks, the touching the tree, the energy and getting the clear message, you know, having a tree calling me to it, putting my hand on the tree and seeing this beautiful light form in my eyes. And the word trust, boom, just right, right through my third eye. And then connecting with nature and having um, birds follow us on a walk like they were guiding us to this point on the path where we walked through like a herd of dragonflies and having the dragonflies bump off of you and buzz all around you. And it, it helps you realize that you are just part of this whole bigger ecosystem. And they can communicate with you. They can relate to you. They can show you the magic, but you have to be open to it. And you have to stop thinking of yourself as one and more of being a part of a bigger, larger thing, using all your senses and opening up to this bigger experiencing, realizing you're a puzzle piece that fits in into other energies. And we have Treasure Island. You know, spirit bringing in some kind of opportunity. We have the energy of fear and repression. Maybe somebody is repressing their fear and it's affecting them. It might be affecting their ability to sleep and get rest. You know, maybe it's showing itself in other ways um, from a health perspective. So stop repressing what you're afraid of. Let it come out and really deal with it. Be honest about it. And 
Pan energy, which was pretty loud today. We have Buffalo spirit in the abundant universe will provide. So put your fears aside, set some intentions, ask spirit for help. What are you struggling with? Ask them what your next step is. What do I do next? Please send me a sign about what my next move is. Right? And there's that puzzle piece again, right? Collaborating and working with somebody. This was actually a one and I put it in the wrong place. I put it with a 10. So this is an ace. This is an ace of possibility and collaboration and opportunity to collaborate is coming in. And we have lion spirit, be, a, be generous of spirit, right? Be giving of your spiritual energies, your divine love, your divine light in the world. And something you're working on is growing, it's building, real growth and building energy coming in. And this happiness, joy, and abundant energy that's around you right now. Our 11, 11, 11 energy is our only master numbers today honesty truth and honesty coming in conducting yourself in a truthful and honest way um, self-expression how you express yourself your passion your creativity maybe the way you dress or carry yourself is really magnetic and passionate and we have this energy of comfort zone um, hearth and comfort right Having this sense of home and being comfortable in who you are. Um, being in a comforting and nurturing place, a comforting and nurturing person. Or maybe it's time to step out of this comfort zone, right? Be honest about the comfort zone. Maybe it's time to make a change. All right, extra chatty today. <laughs> Lots of messages wanted to come out for you all today. So this is Sacred Destiny. We have this real faded energy here. Somebody on some kind of path that is truly destined for them. Stepping into this authenticity. angels what higher level energy messages need to come out here that can connect this for the viewer delight is on the bottom of our deck today let life be delightful everyone let it be delightful see the joy in it experience it use all those senses to experience life truth right truth is coming in big message of truth here truth clarity coming in and always stand in the light of your truth and your honesty and who you are. We have wonders. <laughs> Let life be wondrous. Experience the wonders of life, the magic of life. 
protection. Know that while you're on this spiritual path, doing this spiritual work, being this elevated energy, you are protected by the universe, by your angels, by your spirit guides. Purity, continue to cleanse out your energies and release negative energies, right? But for many of us here in the collective, we have this pure energy about who we are. We speak the truth. We are in our authentic energies. And if you're not there yet, here's the opportunity to willfully release the past and what isn't good for you and step into pure light and love. Wisdom, right? As we live and learn and go through experiences in life, we amass a great deal of wisdom, and the key to it is really to apply those lessons to your life. And when you do, that's when an experience becomes wisdom and can guide you and guide younger people or friends through experiences. Okay? Flow, you know, be in the flow of life. And I talk about that a lot. It's so much easier when you flow with energies, when you don't fight things, when you rise above things and just flow, stay fluid. Relaxation. And Spirit's saying it's okay to take some time off. I took a couple of days off to celebrate the, the weekend with my friends and family and just rest and relax a little been doing a bit of releasing myself and you need to do that sometimes for yourself and that's perfectly okay as a matter of fact spirit is saying let's do it folks let's relax a little right and be careful of what kind of information you're listening to i got that in a, in a download okay um, when i was meditating on this reading that there's a lot of misinformation out there there's a lot of um, fear mongers out there right now. They're trying to drum up fear in people. And you got to stay grounded. And the less you listen to it, of it, the better off you're going to be. All the rhetoric and crap that comes out. Worry about what goes on in your immediate world. Stay interconnected that way. Release. <laughs> A willing release of past, of negative energies, things that you've been hanging on to. It's really just release it all. Focus, you know, focus now. And I think this focus is really going to be important if you're trying to manifest something. The, the focus, this powerful move, right, between now, between 7-7 seven, seven and 8-8, eight, eight, focus, you you got to be like this leper on what you want on this this snow leopard is just uh, zeroed in on what he wants and you need to have that kind of focus right now on whatever it is for you focus right in on what you want stay diligent purposeful in your actions blessings blessings are going to start pouring into your life i think the more you step into your Spanish spiritual energy, the more you step onto the your um, facing north path, right? Your true purpose in life. Blessings start flooding in. Enlightenment. Someone's going through enlightenment here, rising above, seeing the clarity, seeing the bigger picture, being the better person, the bigger person. Being the peaceful, honest person. And the last energy is trust. And this is amazing for me because I got um, trust in that message when I touched the tree on the walk yesterday. And it was amazing for me. And I even invited the person I was walking with to feel the tree to see if they could feel the energy, you know. Could you feel the vibration I felt? Could you see the light I was seeing? Did you see the word I was seeing? Right? Trust. Trust there's a divine plan. Trust that the universe does provide. That your angels and ancestors 
and spirit guides are there for you. Even if you've never asked for them before, they're there. They're there whether you want them there or not. They just don't let you see them. But they're always working for you. Don't doubt. All right, everyone. Wow, what a powerful message for um, this 7-7 seven, seven portal, right? Let's willful re release energies. Change is coming in, an opportunity of some kind where you're going to have to collaborate. An opportunity. It's time to collaborate here. It's time to work with other people. It's time to keep building and trusting there's a divine plan. It's time to face our fears and stop repressing energies. It's, it's time to step into our authentic energy and go from I to we. Right? All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. I hope you have had a wonderful 4th of July weekend celebrating our country's birth, right? And you see it as an opportunity for a rebirth in your life in some way. All right. Stay, stay focused between these 7-7 um, seven, seven and 8-8 eight, eight portal. Make a powerful move if you can. The energy is going to be ripe and transformative. A great period of time for divine timing and things to happen in your life. This next month like, is really uh, critical if you've been trying to grow something or build something in your life. Okay? So thank you everyone for being here, for supporting the channel. Sending love and light to all. And I will see you in the next reading. And just to throw out, um, Monday night I do a live angel reading, and I hope to see you all there. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.